Time's up. That's right. Some products have had their time on the shelves, and now time's up. It looks like some things are going to be uh, out and gone. They've had their opportunity. It's uh, last week of August 2013, so come September, it's going to be time for the new fall merchandise. You're going to start seeing some uh, new merchandise, if you haven't already, in your normal toy stores. Now, Kohl's here. These two stores, Kohl's and Big Lots, they kind of get stuff that, uh, you know, they had their chance, and now they get uh, Kohl's picks up this stuff, and sometimes they sell it for less, sometimes they don't. Big Lots. These are a couple of the stores that are in California. You might have uh, different brand names in your area, but uh, I just want to show Kohl's real quick, because I went to see what they had, and... Uh, I, I found a couple items, but something that is of interest that you might want to look for at Kohl's is stuff like these uh, real working rigs. You can find a couple pieces still at Kohl's, but I'll save that for the Big Lots presentation in a second. Uh, what did I find at Kohl's? These are not end of the line stuff, but uh, here we have the second colorway for the copter chase for the uh, track and trucks that uh, helicopter hooks into the trailer there kind of a nice orange and green presentation uh, looks good different and the other one that I picked up was the second colorway of the highway hauler now the, the first highway hauler definitely was better it was the uh, silver chrome definitely very nice $6.99 but actually I think they were a little discount and I only paid Da, 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 $5.59. I don't remember how much they are in the other stores, but I went ahead and got one of each of the second colorway of those models. This here, this was, uh, let me tell you about the price on this one. Um, I had not seen this. There's a similar one in the four pack at Target. I have, I just got home from shopping, so I have not been able to compare it to the box set, but uh, Disney Toys, here you see my receipt. And look what the price was, $14.39. No way, no way, it can't be $14.39. Uh, yeah, $8.99, uh, okay. It's a little bit, a little bit steep for me too. I spend a lot, I do spend a lot of money, but uh, when I look at one car like this and I think $9. Anyways, that was my pickups from Kohl's. Um, check, they might have real working rigs. And uh, see, there you go, Kohl's right there. They might have real working rigs. Check them out. They got, uh, I don't think that, they're not very well maintained. It seems like they're merchandise from an outside vendor and they come in and set up. I'm not sure. But, uh, so Kohl's, you might find real working rigs there. Big Lots, now we're going to take a look at Big Lots. Real working rigs. I found this one still on the pegs. I could not remember if I had bought it already. I know there's a second one in here somewhere. I couldn't remember if I bought it already, but uh, it was $5.50. I got this one for $5.52. Striker. I like the striker. I like the uh, six, eight wheels. Sorry. Quad axles, eight wheels. And then while I'm paying for it, the guy at the register, he was a manager. He was saying that he used to drive one of these in the military. And he keeps up with it. And he was talking about now they got like uh, cameras that face forwards and backwards so they can see what's happening. And then they're also, he said they added, they're adding some other turret so another person can man a gun. But uh, I did a video on this one already. And I don't remember if I did this one. I'm going to have to check it out. It seems to me I checked out the articulation. But uh, I'll have to, if, uh, if I do have it, I'll give a link in the description below. Now these here, this is not uh, this is not a clearance item. 330. It's actually a little bit higher than three Hot Wheels. But the reason I picked it up is because uh, this is a Lamborghini, right? Uh, isn't this one uh, with the Lamborghini with that little spot there? Uh, it's probably an exclusive color that wound up in the multi packs, right? So here we have a multi pack, T gray, and uh, something one, something one, Impavido one. I don't remember if that was a regular issue color. Someone had asked me recently if the Impavido was still available. And I have not seen it in the stores. But if you go, go to Big Lots, you might pick it up in this uh, three-pack. Get yourself an Impavido. Uh, this is not end of the line because these are these three-packs. You can find them at Target and Walmart. 
uh, Power Rangers. I think that's it. Because Toys are, I mean, uh, who's that place? Target had them on clearance. And uh, I did not get any at clearance, but they had them over at Big Lots. And uh, $4. If you remember how much the original price was, I don't remember. $4 is probably not that good a price. But um, I wanted to make sure I get at least a couple of each model because if I'm going to use them for a future video, I know I have these three guys already. These two were okay as far as uh, I think they'll be okay on the track and whatnot. Open wheeler. You know I don't like to buy too many of those. This guy here. I really like the design on this guy. Looks pretty cool. Robo Knight. Lion Zord. And if you look, man, kind of give him like a uh, lion look. I like that one, so I got a few of this one, and then this one here. Uh, I was able to find this one actually. It was at Target or Toys R Us, but this one is a uh, plentiful at Big Lots. Vrak V R A K Alien Cyborg. If you're a uh, Power Rangers fan, I'm sure you're familiar with this character in the show. Uh, and while we're on the note, um, Jordan. Jordan sent me a message through Facebook asking if I knew anything about a Pink Ranger because they're very short supply. There's not a whole lot on eBay. There's Rack, Blue Ranger. I think that was, I already had that, right? Yep. This one's representing Blue Ranger. But he asked me, and I said, I don't know. Maybe he showed me a picture. I said, I'd never seen it. And at the time, he had only shown me the picture. I had not done any research. So I said, hey, it could have been a Comic Con piece. Or maybe it's one of the last remaining pieces that are going to come out in the Power Rangers. Now that I looked at the back, now I know it's one of the last remaining pieces. And you know what happens at the end of the line when they cancel the line. Sometimes some of the last pieces are short produced. Now, you know, it could make them hard to find, could make them rare. Is it going to make them worth anything? They're only going to be worth what someone's willing to pay. So don't be buying a hundred of them thinking you're going to retire. Uh, buy what you like, alright? I did buy a few because I like to make the videos and I like to have uh, a few extras just in case. And end of the line, Flying Customs. Here we have them at Big Lots, $2.50. This, this Flying Customs line right here, big difficulty at retail, slow movie, slow mover. In my opinion, poor choice of castings, horrible execution on the line. I'm trying to be nice. Just to really miss the point, I don't know who was in charge of that department, and uh, what can I tell you? There's going to be uh, eight cars slated. There's still eight cars. This is the part that's really going to irk me. I have supported this line because I like plastic wheels. I've supported this line from the beginning by every case, every car. Uh, by the way, if you go to Big Lots, these are the four that you'll get on the pegs. If you'll, you'll probably find, <coughs> excuse me, the 63 Corvette, it was not there. And other people are finding these in other stores too. And everybody's saying the Corvette's not there. The only ones that are shown that are available uh, are these four. Uh, I would suggest, you know, pop in, get yourself a hair splitter. That's a really neat model. And it has an opening hood. So it's pretty nice. Opening hood, metal base, metal body like the uh, 67 Camaro. As a matter of fact, I'll bet you this one will kick the Camaro's butt in a downhill race. But um, pick this one up. Now, uh, end of the line for Flying Customs. One year and done. Okay, hot ones at least got a couple years. But uh, the eight models that uh, are still scheduled to be released are the Texas Drive'em, the Jeep CJ7, the 76 Chevette, uh, let's see, 78 Funny Car, Corvette Funny Car, 69 Camaro, I think I missed one, old 442. 81 Ford Fairmont and the Nissan 2000 GTR. The two more cars that are going to be most popular Texas drive them and the Nissan. It's the uh, Nissan, not Sentra. Geez, drawing a blank. But, anyways, um, Flying Customs, end of the line. Power Rangers, end of the line. Even Toys R Us, they were the exclusives for Tomica. They would have them for a year and then. The remaining stock would be put on clearance somewhere else. Uh, last year, it was, I think, till Tuesday morning stores, something like that. And I did a video. This time, uh, the organization that looks to be uh, clearing out the rest of the merchandise is Marshalls. 
So you might want to check, you know, 10 bucks, 10 bucks, pretty fair deal as far as I'm concerned for the gas station. Now this year they went to these wild, uh, wild designs, fire emergency and all this stuff. Uh, nonetheless, the playset itself is just a regular playset. I'll open this up, do a video sometime. But right now I just want to give you a heads up, check Marshalls. Uh, I think that this set right here is pretty nice value for 10 bucks. You want to check Big Lots and you want to check uh, the other place that I said for real working rigs. By the way, real working rigs. Singles been gone for over a year. No more singles. They put them in the Mission Force 4 packs. Guess what? Those are gone as well. The Mission Force 4 packs are now going to be like a two Skybusters and two regular Matchbox. Uh, you probably won't be seeing too many videos from me as far as the uh, mission force i think that uh, i see some hasbro products and some I forgot the name of the australian company moose toys moose something i think i'm going to be have to uh feature some other products because uh i think that matchbox uh, might be losing their way a little bit anyways uh, time's up for some of these guys might as well get something while you can thanks for watching bye bye